All right, here we go. Just putting on a light coat. I'm only doing this side because the other side I, uh, I had to do a touch up on the other side. This wood, you know, you want to go this way. Okay. That's covered good enough for a first coat, and I'm just going to go do this edge. be a, a fairly good pencil that'll be a slightly aged pen central green and okay we're gonna we're gonna end right here and we will come back to that here I add a little blue to this Kelly green to the mixture I already had this looks a little more like Penn Central green it kind of I added a couple of drops of blue to it kind of brought it around a little bit it was looking like a John Deere and I didn't want it to it might still be I might have to do some more blending on my next coats so there it is for right now. I'm going to let this dry and that's all for tonight. All right, we're back. And here we've got our flat car. I want to put one more coat on this. I've got to touch up some of this black on the bottom. Scrape some of this green off, touch that up. But that's going to be the last thing I do. I learned how to do that. Do the, do the bottom last. Um, I'm going to mix up some more Penn Central Green, and uh, which is like a jade green, and put one more coat on this. Then we're going to be ready to, i got some areas I'm going to smooth out. I already kind of worked with it there. Can you see the areas that are kind of glossy? That's where I'm going to put my decals, but I'm going to put another coat of paint on over that. Also, there's a little imperfection here. This side rail did not glue all the way down. I don't know if I'm going to be able to hide it anymore. Or, and I'm not, I'm not going to fuss with it right now. I'm going to go ahead and just paint over it. Then Central Green. And I uh, experimented with this the other day. It's about three parts of Kelly Green. This is Kelly Green. And... We're not going to put the white in yet, and we're going to go with just a drop of this. This is cobalt blue. And we're going to put those together and see how those do. Mix it well. Now, that right there, that is a very dark... I could probably pass for a brand new Penn Central. But I want the look of aged paint. So, I'm going to just do just a little dab of white. Just a little dab of white in there. Okay, that's a little lighter, but I want it. Oh. 
Okay, we're getting there. It's about three parts of Kelly Green to one part of cobalt blue, maybe three parts. You just have to add the white until you get it lightened up to where you want it, and I think we're just about there. This is a slightly weathered Pent Central, one that's been around a couple of years. Like it's, uh, you know, like it's. Uh, 1978 or 1979. Okay. We're going to take our brush. And I'm going to wet the brush first. Let me get you over here. Okay. We're going to do... Get this inside first. And you can see a little bit of little bit of rust there. I just kind of did a little bit of chipping to make sure that that was going to work. Just go a little bit at a time. I'm kind of glopping the paint a little. Matter of fact, I think I had too much on the brush to start with. So I'm going back over. Picking some of it back up. Now, now where I've got my, my wood planks here, I'm drawing out. I'm making sure I paint this way on that side all the way across there that looks good now coming on the other side these craft paints it takes quite a few coats to get it to hold its color get this top rail get a dab of paint on there and then again like I did on the other side I'm going to draw across we're done with that that's all we're going to do for that for right now I'm going to let that dry then I'll be able to hold this and then do the outside. Okay. That where I did all except for down in these seams. It's pretty much dry. So I want to work before this paint sets up. So I'm just getting another coat on here. I don't think I can very easily cover up my mistake here. I can try to make it appear a little less visible. I'm going to put some paint on it, let that paint sit there. Let it sit there for a little bit and brush over it. Just like that. Get this side done. Okay, there's the other side. I have to really spread that out. There we go. And these ends, I don't want to mess. I don't want to mess up these ends and have globs of paint on them. Try my best not to leave globs. That is looking like a a little older Penn Central. Not old as the uh, not as old as the uh, the photo that I'm using. That thing was really faded. But okay, there's our sides, and I'm going to try to do these ends. I'm probably going to have to sand that, touch it up. I'll have to touch up this black on the bottom. I'll have to do that later. See, see I got way too much paint on that brush. Do you see that? I don't want to get too much on the top here because I've got this. I don't want to. There. I can use a drill bit to open up that hole later. And make sure this ends good. I probably should have filed that before. 
Probably should be using a smaller brush here, but I think I got it. I think that is, I don't know. I might do another coat. I might not. There, okay, these top rails are dry. All right, that's that. And we're going to let that dry. I'm going to come back and touch up this black. All right. Well, I got my other coat of paint on here. I've got the black and the green touched up, all except for one little part right there. Okay. You don't notice things till you get them in the camera. Okay. So, this is, it is dry now, but I'm going to let it dry completely, and then my next section will be prepping this to put decals on. Yep. Okay. this here I got the paint on it I'm gonna start burnishing because I want this area where I put my decals be nice and smooth I know there's gonna be one there and there's gonna be one there and in there So I'm just going to keep doing that. I'm going to do this on both sides of the frame. Just get it smoothed out. This does help to finish where you have a lot of, you may have a lot of bumps from the craft paints. Okay, so I'm going to keep doing that, and we'll be back.